Good morning, everyone. My name is Kim Smith, and I'm the Benefits Manager for the Sioux City Community School District. I'd like to welcome you to our virtual benefit orientation that we'll need to do moving forward. This is so we can still maintain um, accuracy as well as getting you enrolled in benefits as quickly as possible, as well as any dependents that you may need to enroll in your benefits. As you can see below, we have some additional links both to the insurance enrollment forms along with links to additional information on the district website. We have contact information for myself as well as Kaisa Hageman in the HR department. And then we also have our premium rate sheets per employee group and benefit status, which would be considered part-time or full-time. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into our normal presentation. Please follow along and then email me if you have any questions. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. The Sioux City Community School District does exist to educate students to believe in their talents and skills, achieve academic excellence, and succeed in reading, reaching their potential. This is a message from Dr. Gosman that I'd like to share with you today. Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Gosman, Superintendent of Schools for the Sioux City Community School District. On behalf of the Board of Directors and your new colleagues, I welcome you to our team. I wish you a great deal of success as you join us in our mission to educate students to believe in their talents and skills, achieve academic excellence, and succeed in reaching their potential. Each employee contributes directly to the success of our students. Our team works diligently to foster a positive climate in each of our buildings and in all of our activities. And this climate is an important part of working in our school district. As a member of our team, it is important that you maintain a respectful and professional relationship with parents, students, and the community. I hope that your experience working here will be challenging, enjoyable, and rewarding. Welcome to our team. Next, we'll talk about our non-discrimination statement. The Sioux City Community School District is an equal opportunity and affirmative action employer, so therefore we do not discriminate on the basis of race, creed, color, sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, genetic information, national origin, religion, ace, excuse me, age, disability, socioeconomic status, marital status, or veteran status. If you feel that you've ever been discriminated against or witnessed someone else that may be discriminated, please contact our equity department and they will provide further information to you. We also have an anti-bullying policy for both students and staff. If again, you feel like you yourself have ever been bullied or witnessed another person or student being bullied, please contact your building administrator for the next appropriate steps. Computer usage, please note that all computers are deemed district property and they do need to be respected as such. Make sure that you're not checking um, personal email while at work, you know, shopping sites, pornography sites, gaming sites, anything along those lines. Um, we do know that our technology department does have the ability to search all computers, so make sure they are using those with respect and for business purposes. We do also have a drug and alcohol free workplace. In the event that the district does find reasonable suspicion, they will ask you to submit to a drug or alcohol test. So please make sure you refer back to this slide if you have any further questions. Payroll. We do have multiple payroll groupings within our employee base. We have salaried employees, which are paid monthly, and that's normally on the last business day of each month, with the exception of the winter break. Hourly employees, we have 18 pays, which are paid bi-weekly during the school year. And during those payrolls, deductions for benefits are taken from September through the first payroll in May. You may find that there are miscellaneous codes on your initial paychecks to possibly collect additional premiums for those summer months. 26 pays are paid bi-weekly through the entire school year and premium deductions are taken on the first and second check of each month. Insurance and benefits do begin the first of the month following your hire date for both medical and prescription coverage, dental, vision, basic and supplemental life insurance, long-term disability, flexible spending, and IPERS. Medical and prescription coverage is available for uh, the employee only, employee plus spouse, employee plus child or children, and that's a flat rate for children, as well as full family, which is employee, spouse, and then children. Dental and vision are broken down just a little bit differently. They go off of per dependent. So for, depend for dental, you can do employee only, plus one, plus two, or plus three or more. Vision can be considered for plus one or plus two or more. Eligible dependents would be for a spouse or any children up through their 26th birthday. 
children may be older if they're still attending school and unmarried or unable to care for themselves due to a physical or mental impairment. Outside of your enrollment coverage today, you are unable to make any changes to your insurance elections outside of a qualifying event. This would be a marriage, death, divorce, baby, or loss of other coverage for yourself or any dependents in your family. In that event, you have 30 days to provide proof of that in order to make any insurance changes or 60 days with the exception of a new baby. Outside of that, you're only able to make insurance changes during our open enrollment process. Normally that begins in May for an effective date of July 1, which is for our fiscal year. Cafeteria cash benefit is the money that the district provides to offset the cost of insurance premiums. Different employee groups do receive different cash benefit amounts, so make sure that you're looking at the appropriate benefit rate sheet for your employee group and status. Our medical insurance is provided by United Healthcare. We do offer two plans. We have a basic plan and a value plan. Please note that deductibles and out-of-pocket maximums do run off of a calendar year of January 1 through December 31. As we work our way down the list here, we'll start with doctor's office and visit copays. As you can see, primary care visits are at a $25 copay. Virtual visits are at a $10 copay that is also considered telehealth services. Specialists are at $40. Urgent care is at $50. Please note there that if you do see an urgent care facility within the Sioux City area, they will only charge that $25 primary care copayment rate. Under emergency services, there is a slight difference between $100 under the basic plan or $150 under the value plan. Preventative care services are considered free under both plans as defined under the Affordable Care Act. There is another difference when it comes to the deductible. The basic plan has a $750 deductible, while the value plan has a $1,500 deductible. That would mean if you're having a procedure or a surgery done, you would need to pay the first $750 or $1,500 out of pocket then coinsurance would apply, so you would owe 20% of the remaining portion of that bill up until you reach your out-of-pocket maximum, which is under the basic plan of $3,000 and under the value plan of $3,500. We do have a four-tier prescription drug coverage plan. We have a tier one, two, three, and then the specialty plan. Um, under the basic and value, tier one is at $10, tier two is at 30 or 35, and then tier three is at 50 or 60. Specialty drugs are very high dollar drugs that do require um, additional approval by both your doctor as well as United Healthcare. And those would run at either a 30 or a $50 copay under the basic plan or a 35 or $60 copay under the value plan. You are able to get a cost savings of two, or I'm sorry, of a 90 day supply for two copays through the mail order Optum RX or CSV to pharmacies located at Target or Walgreens. Dental plan is offered through Delta Dental of Iowa. There is a $25 per person deductible per year with the annual maximum benefit of $1,500. Your preventive services are covered at 100%, so that would be your two cleanings per year. However, if you do get x-rays um, at your one visit per year, that is subject to the $25 deductible as well as a coinsurance. There is a basic restorative of 20% after the deductible is um, paid, so that would be anything like a cavity or minor um, tooth extraction, that kind of thing. Major high cost restorative would be covered at 50% after the deductible is met. Orthodontia is covered at 50% up for children through the age of 19, and then there is a lifetime maximum benefit of $1,500. Our vision plan is offered through VSP. They do have a $10 copay for an eye exam, which is offered once a year. Frames are every two years with an allowance up to $150. Eyeglass lenses can be replaced every year. Contact lenses would be no copay and $130 allowance. Just note that you cannot get eyeglass lenses and contacts in the same year. It's one or the other. There's a diabetic eye care copay of a $20 copay. Renal screening is no more than $39, and there is a slight discount there for laser vision or LASIK. Life insurance full time employees are given a basic term life insurance policy that is district paid, but that policy amount does vary by your employee group. Part-time employees are able to elect into that, but they will have to pay a small portion of that percentage of premium. Supplemental life insurance may also be elected um, at the employee's cost. Just note that after today, if you choose not to elect supplemental life insurance, but then later would like to add it, you would have to go through what's called an evidence of insurability form, which is a health questionnaire then the insurance company would um, decide whether or not you could add that at a later point. 
if you would ever leave the district, it is possible to convert that life insurance policy over to a single coverage plan. Um, if you would like to do that, information would be sent out at that time. Long-term disability is a voluntary benefit that would be employee paid. Premiums are based on an age banding scale and are a small percent of your salary. There is a 90 day elimination period before you become eligible. And then you would have to supply appropriate claim forms to Madison National Life, who is our carrier. If approved, the benefit can be up to 66 and two thirds percent of your salary. We do offer flexible spending accounts for both healthcare and dependent care needs. Healthcare accounts can be up to 27,000, I'm sorry, $2,700 per um, year for the 1920 year. And that can be used to offset deductibles, co-insurance, co-payments, out-of-pocket dental and vision expenses, as well as orthodontia. And those are on a pre-tax savings. And then dependent care can be up to $5,000 if single or married and filing jointly, or $2,500 if married and filed separately for taxes and tax returns for the 1920 year. That can be used to offset daycare expenses before and after school care programs, day camp, and then elder care. Retirement, we do um, offer uh, IPERS, or this program is um, definitely eligible for IPERS benefits. So that stands for the Iowa Public Employees Retirement System. Employees are required to participate. They do not have a choice. The member share is 6.29%. The employer share is 9.44% for a total of 15.73. There is a seven year vesting schedule on that one, and that's a 100% at seven years. So if you, if you would leave the district prior to that seven year mark, you would forfeit the employer share, but you would always retain what you put in diapers. We do also offer a 403B, which is another opportunity for you to put money aside either pre-tax or post-tax for your retirement needs. Wellness, we have a lot of different opportunities under our wellness um, grouping to be able to provide benefits to our employees. We offer two different employee assistance programs. One is through United Healthcare called Care 24, and that's eligible for both employees and dependents on a UHC policy. If you are not on the policy, but you do have the life insurance, you can also elect up to three free visits through Morneau Chappelle. We offer health club discounts, wellness incentives. Uh, we have our Real Appeal, which is a weight loss program, flu shots, wellness newsletters, and then biometric screens. FMLA is eligible for those who do qualify, but it is the Family Medical Leave Act um, that does require covered employers to provide up to 12 weeks of unpaid job protected leave. In order to qualify, you do have to be an employee for at least 12 months and have earned at least 1,250 hours of service within those last 12 months. During that time, if you do qualify, you can supplement it with any approved sick time, vacation, and personal time as dictated by your contract or employee handbook. This time can be used for the birth or adoption of a child a serious health condition of a spouse, parent, or child, serious health condition of employee, or for military family leave. In the event that you would need to do any um, surgeries upcoming in the future, or if you need any more questions answered, don't hesitate to reach out on FMLA. Workers' compensation does have a series of steps. If you would ever get hurt while on the job, we ask that you follow these steps in order to make sure that we can best um, see that your needs are met. Step one would be to notify your supervisor or principal. Step two would be to notify human resources. In the event that you would need to seek medical attention, human resources would help get an appointment set up for you. Step four is to go back to human resources to complete the necessary paperwork. And then step five would be to attend any follow-up appointments that are deemed necessary by your occupational doctor. Please note that we highly encourage you to never go to your own doctor if it is a work-related injury as that claim could be denied by your insurance company and you may be responsible for the full payment of that visit. Time off, I'm gonna refer back to the links below for um, information regarding your employee handbook as well as your master contract to seek information on holiday pay, vacation, sick time, personal and emergency leave. Enrollment forums, we'll go through those next, but please make sure that you return those back as soon as possible so we can get you enrolled into the portals um, and get those cards back to you as quickly as we can. If you are enrolling any dependents in the plans, we will need to have their full date of birth as well as social security numbers to get them enrolled. Once those forms are completed, please return them to either myself or Kaisa Hageman via email or send them back in the postal mail and our postal address is also below. The first form that we have is that United Health Plan um, comparison for our basic and value plan that we went through earlier. This is another one for you to view just so that we have more information in front of you to make a better choice on which plan is right for you. This is a little bit blurry, so bear with me, but there'll be a better version on uh, as a PDF below. Delta Dental summary of what is covered and what is not for the dental plan provided. Vision plan, this is also a summary of your vision benefits. 
contribution rates for IPERS, or information on the RIC, which is the 403B RIC stands for the Retirement Investors Club of Iowa. So if you would like to move forward with setting up an account, you'll need to contact one of the providers listed on this page first, get that account set up, and then you can follow that up with the 403B salary reduction form. You'll need to fill out the top portion with your demographic information, find the vendor that you are using, and then put down how much you would like per pay period, either as a pre-tax or Roth post-tax deduction and then sign and date below. That form will need to go back to our payroll department for processing. More information regarding our flexible benefit plan if you have questions regarding the um, health plan or the dependent care plan. This is our annual notice for the health insurance marketplace. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out on that one. This is the big one. This is going to be our enrollment application form to get you enrolled into your benefit plan. So you will be responsible for filling out section A with your demographic information. Section B, which is the top of page two, we need to have you itemize out each dependent. On the left side, you'll mark enroll, their demographic information. And then on the right side, you'll mark which plans you're rolling each one in, whether that's medical, dental, or vision. In section C below at the bottom, you're going to follow each line individually and mark the coverage you would like to enroll for that grouping. So for an employee, if I'm going to choose all three plans, you'll mark the box for dental, medical, as well as vision, and then which medical plan option you would like to elect, whether it's the basic or the value, and then do the same for spouses and dependents. Now, all employees and dependents must be on the same medical plan option. Next, if you're only waiving coverage, you'll complete section E. You'll go ahead and move over to the right box there of why you are waiving that coverage, you will sign in date, and then everyone will need to sign in date below in that final section. Enrollment slash beneficiary designation for IPERS, you'll need to complete the top section there with your demographic information, a primary and secondary beneficiary, and then sign under section three and date for the member signature. If you are married, you will need to have your spouse also sign off on this form and date. Madison National Life, uh, this will be your enrollment form for the life insurance, the long-term disability, as well as the supplemental life insurance. So please complete the top section with your demographic information, complete the sections below, sign and date, and then the second page will be where you designate your beneficiaries and you will also need to sign and date there. Lastly, this is a flexible benefit enrollment form. If you choose to enroll in the healthcare or dependent care flex accounts, you will fill out the top section with your demographic information, all I need you to complete is the yearly amount. We'll do the configuration of how many paychecks are left for this school year for both the healthcare as well as dependent care and then sign and date below. If you have any continued questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, the sooner you can get those forms back to us, the sooner we can get you enrolled in the benefit portals. Our contact information is below. Thanks again for watching folks and take care.